So Mao was really uh, authoritarian in terms of art because at the Yunnan Conference in 1942, as part of the non-rectification, um, he set um, forth a um, goal of making sure that all of the art in China would be focused on the working class and that it would serve the government. And um, there's a quote from him that was uh, put into the little red book of the um, cultural Re revolution that reads um, our purpose is to ensure that literature and art fit well into the whole revolutionary machine as a component part so he really worked to make sure that it was working with his um, the revolution that was already happening and um, that it was really well incorporated into that uh, and then after um, that was kind of established, the Gang of Four, led by Zhang Qing, um, Mao's wife, was really known for um, being uh, really um, hard on the arts, um, especially performing arts, um, to make sure that they follow the same uh, revolutionary template. And so they would be known for going to like the Peking Opera, um, and then like chastising the cast and directors if the performance didn't end up being revolutionary enough. And so that made um, kind of like a general like fear um, in within the artistic community to make sure that everything supported a cause. And um, we don't really see this as much with Mao. Like sure, he um, supported the whole uh, social realism uh, school of art but, um, and he, like he was very successful in terms of architecture and um, sculpture and painting. But as far as performing arts, like opera, ballet, music, um, it was really, especially music, it was really um, more of the same. And he, he was far less authoritarian um, in this sense.